Ever wondered how scorpions, the enigmatic creatures of the desert, survive in such harsh environments? Let's embark on an intriguing journey into the world of these pincered predators, a journey that will reveal some of the most fascinating survival tactics in the animal kingdom. Scorpions with their menacing pincers and threatening stingers are the embodiment of resilience. They are masters of survival in some of the most inhospitable terrains on Earth. These creatures have roamed our planet for over 400 million years, even before the age of dinosaurs, and their survival strategies are nothing short of remarkable. The first thing to note about scorpions is their nocturnal lifestyle. As night hunters, they evade the scorching heat of the day and come out to hunt when the desert cools. This nocturnal behavior not only helps them conserve energy, but also makes them efficient predators, catching their prey off guard in the cloak of darkness. But the scorpion's resilience doesn't stop there. They are armored with a heat-resistant exoskeleton, a tough outer shell that serves as a protective shield against the scorching desert sun. This exoskeleton also helps to minimize water loss, a crucial adaptation in an environment where water is scarce. Scorpions have also evolved to have a low metabolic rate, meaning they don't need a lot of food to survive. They can go up to a year without eating, subsisting on their stored fat reserves. This ability to survive on minimal resources is another testament to their incredible adaptability. These desert dwellers are also experts in burrowing, creating deep tunnels in the sand where they can escape from the midday heat and hide from predators. These burrows offer a refuge, a cool and humid environment for scorpions to rest and reproduce. Each of these adaptations plays a crucial role in the survival of scorpions in the desert, making them one of the most resilient creatures on our planet. Their survival tactics are a testament to the power of evolution and the wonders of the natural world. These pincered predators have evolved over millions of years to become the ultimate desert survivors. So, let's continue our journey and delve deeper into the mysterious realm of scorpions. What makes scorpions the formidable creatures they are? Well, it's all about their anatomy, a perfect design for survival and predation. Let's start with the most notorious feature, the venomous stinger or telson. Not just a simple spike, this is a complex tool, housing a pair of venom glands and a sharp curved aculeus to deliver the toxic cocktail. It's this potent venom that immobilizes or kills their prey and provides a powerful defense against predators. But the stinger is just part of the story. Equally important are the clawed pincers, or pedipalps. These are not just for show but rather, they are the scorpion's primary tool for hunting and defense. The pincers are incredibly strong, capable of crushing prey or warding off threats. They also serve a delicate function, being used in courtship dances and for carrying the young. Now, let's move on to their sensory organs. Scorpions have an amazing ability to detect their surroundings. They don't rely on their eyesight as much as humans do. Instead, they use something called pectines, comb-like organs located on their underside. These pectines sweep the ground as the scorpion moves, picking up vibrations and chemical cues that signal the presence of prey or danger. Along with the pectines, scorpions also have sensory hairs all over their body. These hairs pick up air and water vibrations, giving the scorpion a detailed understanding of its environment. It's like they have a sixth sense, making them expert hunters, even in the darkness of the night. Interestingly, scorpions also have a unique exoskeleton. It's made up of a tough material called chitin, which gives them excellent protection. The exoskeleton is also covered in a thin layer of wax, helping to prevent water loss and enabling them to survive in harsh, arid environments. So, from the venomous stinger and powerful pincers to the sensory pectines and hairs, every part of a scorpion's anatomy is designed for survival and predation. Their anatomy is a testament to their predatory prowess, making them one of the most successful hunters in the animal kingdom. How does the life of a scorpion unfold? Well, the life of a scorpion is a fascinating journey. A story of survival, adaptation, and the relentless drive to continue the species. It all begins with an intricate dance, a delicate interplay between the male and the female. This isn't your typical love story though. The male deposits a sack of sperms, known as a spermatophore, on the ground and then guides the female over it to fertilize her eggs internally. Now here's where things get even more interesting. Unlike most arachnids, scorpions exhibit a unique form of birth known as viviparity. This means that the young are born alive, rather than hatching from eggs outside the mother's body. After a gestation period that can last from a few months to over a year, depending on the species, the mother scorpion gives birth to her brood. The newborn scorpions, known as scorplings, are soft and vulnerable. 
a stark contrast to their hardened, armored parents. To protect them from predators and the harsh conditions of their environment, the mother carries her young on her back. This maternal instinct, often seen in mammals but rarely in invertebrates, is one of the many unique aspects of scorpion behavior. As the scorpions grow, they undergo a series of molts, shedding their old exoskeletons to make way for larger, tougher ones. This process, known as ecdysis, is a crucial part of their development, allowing them to grow and mature into the formidable predators we know them to be. The life of a scorpion is not an easy one. From their birth, they are thrust into a world full of challenges and dangers. But through their unique life cycle, from the intricate mating dance to the protective maternal care, scorpions have evolved to survive and thrive in some of the harshest environments on our planet. The scorpion's life cycle is a captivating display of survival and adaptation. Ever wondered what makes a scorpion sting so deadly? Well, sit tight as we unravel the mystery behind a scorpion's venom, an intriguing mix of compounds that can mean life or death for its intended target. A scorpion's venom is a potent cocktail of neurotoxins, enzymes, and other substances. This venom affects the nervous system, disrupting signals between nerves and causing symptoms such as pain, paralysis, and in some cases even death. Now not all scorpions are created equal, and the same goes for their venom. The potency varies wildly among different species. Some scorpions, like the Arizona Bark Scorpion or the Death Stalker Scorpion, possess venom that can be lethal to humans. Yet, on the other end of the spectrum we have species like the Emperor Scorpion whose sting is no more harmful than a bee's. But what's truly fascinating is how scorpions use this venom. It's not just a tool for self-defense but also a critical part of their hunting strategy. Scorpions aren't the fastest creatures out there, so they rely on their venom to slow down and incapacitate their prey. Once the venom takes effect, the scorpion can easily overpower its meal. And when it comes to self-defense, the scorpion's venom is its shield against threats. When cornered, a scorpion can deliver a sting that sends a clear message to any would-be predator. Mess with me, and you'll regret it. Yet, despite its deadly reputation, scorpion venom also has a brighter side. Researchers are studying it for potential medical applications. Its ability to target specific nerve channels could lead to new treatments for conditions like autoimmune diseases and chronic pain. So, while a scorpion's venom may be feared in the wild, it's also respected in the laboratory. It's a testament to the complex and often paradoxical nature of these creatures. A scorpion's venom is an incredible tool of survival, both a hunter's weapon and a shield against threats. It's a potent reminder of how even the smallest creatures can hold such powerful secrets. From the desert sands to the research labs, the scorpion continues to fascinate and surprise us with its deadly yet intriguing venom. How do scorpions interact with their most curious enemy? Humans. It's a question that's been asked for centuries, and the answer is as complex as the creatures themselves. Scorpions, these mysterious pincered predators, have a relationship with humans that is steeped in both fear and fascination. Fear is a natural reaction to scorpions. After all, they are venomous creatures and some species can deliver a sting that's incredibly painful, even lethal. Yet this fear often overshadows the crucial role they play in our ecosystems. Scorpions are predators feeding on a variety of pests that can cause damage to crops and spread diseases. Their presence in an ecosystem can indicate its health and balance. But this fear and respect for scorpions are not just about their role as predators. There's an undeniably intriguing aspect to these creatures, one that has captured our curiosity and led to groundbreaking medical research. Scorpion venom is a cocktail of potent compounds, some of which have shown promise in the treatment of a range of diseases, including cancer. The potential medical benefits of scorpion venom are still being explored, but the possibilities are exciting. And let's not forget the cultural significance of these creatures. Scorpions have been featured in mythology and folklore around the world, often symbolizing strength, protection, and determination. They've even made their way into our zodiac with Scorpio representing those born between October 23rd and November 21st. So yes, our relationship with scorpions is complex. It's a mixture of fear and respect, a balance of seeing them as dangerous predators and potential allies in medical research. It's about understanding their role in our ecosystems and acknowledging their cultural significance. Our relationship with these fascinating creatures is complex, filled with fear and respect, yet undeniably intriguing.